welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a video about how I organise and plan out my craft projects because I do a different um, types of crafts and I'm also doing YouTube videos now and um, I have other channels on YouTube as well and um, I'm also trying to redesign my website and so I have a few things going on that I want to plan and because I am not very good at remembering to pick up and check my diary or a planner in paper form I prefer to do it digitally so I'm using this app that's called Awesome Note and I have it installed on my iPad and on my phone and um, how do I explain it? So it's basically a folder system of to-do list items. Now you can have just to-do list items so you can um, just have a basic one that says I want to make a sewing machine cover and I don't really know when I want to get it done so I just wanted to get it done someday. Um, so anytime I have an idea instead of getting distracted and going off to investigate whether or not that's something that's feasible that I can do or think about it more um, I just make a to-do list note and it goes into my default to-do list and then I'll think about it later whether or not it's something that I'm actually going to do and as soon as I commit to doing it I'll put a date on it otherwise I'll never get it done and if something sits on there forever like this for example was made in 2016 um, I might decide that oh it's been there for ages and I haven't done it I'm probably not going to do it and get rid of it um, however <laughs> the reason why I hadn't done it is because my sewing machine broke so I couldn't do it so I'm going to leave that one there but it that's how I use it so for the purpose of demonstrating to you how I use the app that's how I do it um, so I have lots of different to do's here and then if you go to home why didn't that work oh sorry I have to close it <laughs> um, you have all of your folders down the side here so you can segregate them into different sections, different folders, however you like to work. Now, I want to add a new folder for my jewellery making projects. So i am just clicked on, there's a little icon here. I don't think it will show up very well on camera, but basically it's a folder with three lines. And you click on that to create a new folder. And then I'm going to click on the add. And I'm going to do jewel making and you can pick whatever icon you like um, it's hard they're all pretty but they're not really relevant to jewellery I think I'm going to go with the this one because you might wear a necklace with that <laughs> and you can pick whatever colour you like um, I'm going to go with purple click done and then you can group your um, sections so under crafty I'm gonna put I'm just gonna move these uh, sewing projects paper craft projects and jewelry making and then I'm gonna have a look see if I like in the way that that looks 
not really but I'll just tinker with that then until it comes up with something that I like but anyway you know how to do it now and you can add a group divider at the bottom um, I'm not going to do that because I've already set them up the way that I like and if you want to delete any of them you just hit the delete button down the side but um, I don't want to do that so I'm going to press done now when I'm out and about I use my phone and I will literally just plug in any idea and let it go into the to-do list like it is here and then when I have some time and I'm sitting down thinking about things I will move these to the correct folder so the eBay storage area is to do with my business I'm gonna put it under my Etsy shop but it's not really my Etsy shop anymore because I've moved to eBay and then I just start to put things where they belong um, I can't remember what that project is so I'll do that later that is a papercraft project so you just literally tap on where it says to-do list and then you change and click on the um, folder that you want and then you hit done and it moves straight across then once you have um, got your folder set up the other thing you can set up is how you want your default so excuse me you can have um, different types of notes that you add so my default for the to-do list is a to-do list item with a date but you can also have um, say for recipes it tells you to add a quick note instead of adding um, a to-do item so if I just type in test for now you can see that it makes a different card it doesn't have the to do and it's just blank so if I wanted to change the settings for this one oh sorry um, I've got to remember how to do this that's just changing it for this single note so I don't want to do that I think I do folder settings yes I do so this gives me the default settings for the folder recipes which is the one that I'm in at the moment so I can change the icon I can change the color I can change the background so I can just have it plain or I can have sprinkles why not have sprinkles you can set the font you can set it as if it, um, as the default folder so if you create a note it will automatically go into this folder where um, if you tick that button or um, if you create a to do it will automatically go into the default to do folder if that makes sense you can also um, passcode lock the folder and you sync you can sync this folder which basically means if I make any changes on my phone they will sync to the iPad and vice versa and that's over iCloud I believe and obviously you can delete the folder um, if you want to change the type like note or picture I can't remember the options uh, text to do diary and anniversary you can do that in that first box there and it gives you the options here so I use a diary when I'm journaling I sometimes use the anniversary one when I want to put in birthdays and things although they're in my main calendar so I don't often use them very much because otherwise if I put them on here I don't see them on my Mac so I prefer to just have them in my calendar um, yeah so this one's just set to a, a note because it's a recipe but the reason why I like having everything in this place to do with home life and not really work life but project life <laughs> is because when I'm out shopping I'll often go into town and then I'll get any craft supplies I need and I'll get my food shopping and my medication or whatever else I need to do while I'm out and about so having it all in one place is really really helpful 
and having it on my phone means that I can't forget it and leave it at home because I never leave the house without my phone and if I did I'd have to come back for it because it's got my credit card in it. So um, right so that is the functionality of the app and how I use it. I just wanted to show um, some examples of things that I've planned out. Um, so this one is a plan that I'm making for my friend. So I want to make her some gifts for her birthday. Her birthday's on the 12th, so I need to make th everything by the Friday or the Saturday and post it off. So I have added um, a picture to this one where I've drawn with my Apple Pencil uh, some card sketch ideas and um, a key ring that I might make her remind me to get her some Toblerone because she loves Toblerone and um, I'm going to write some other ideas in there later. I haven't decided what I'm going to make her yet but that was my planning. Another idea um, I had is I was on Annika Victoria's YouTube channel and I saw this really cool project that she'd done with spray bleach. Oops. And she'd done a unicorn and a cat and I thought it was really cool. So I saved the picture into my project file. So um, if I ever wonder what on earth it was that I was talking about, I've got a picture to remind me. Um, I can't remember. I just wanted to show you how to, I was looking for a good one to add a picture to, but um, I'll just pick this one. So to add a picture, if you want to draw, you click the attachment and you click the middle icon there, which allows you to draw. If you want to add a picture, you click on the camera icon. That is to record a note, that's to record the weather and that's to record your location. I don't really use the weather or location unless I'm on my app. So I've just gone into drawing mode and I don't know, maybe I could sketch out my sewing pattern. Oh, I turned off my Apple Pencil because it was interfering with the camera. I'll just use my finger. <laughs> um, so say, I don't know, say I wanted to sketch out my pattern. Obviously I would do it in more detail than this, but say I needed side pieces, another side piece and then I would then I could write about what stitches and whatever down there I can't really do it with my finger but you get the gist so that could be my plan I hit done and then it turns up make sure you hit done and not cancel or come out of it another way because otherwise it deletes it I learned that yesterday it was very annoying so once I've drawn my picture, put a due date, planned it, oops, I can close it and then if I want to get an overview of absolutely everything that I've got going on, I can hit to do's and it sends me a list of things that I need to do this week or today. So it defaults on today. Um, so if I go to Friday here I can see all of my projects. The type of box they are depends is the colour of the folder that they're in. These are items from my um, normal daily calendar reminders and I can get a nice overview of my to-dos. These are only showing scheduled ones because if I haven't scheduled them they're not in my plan to do but you can change it and you can ba base it on the type of um, to-dos that you want to do. So you could set your highest two to be there, whatever you want. You can also show completed, but I don't bother because I've already done them, so I don't care. Um, and you can also see it on your calendar in calendar view by hitting that button. And you can see all of your notes by hitting that button. So these are my notes across all of my uh, folders. Um, I wonder if my secret ones turn up. No, they don't. 
But anyway, I like this view because if I've added pictures, I can go and have a look at my pictures and go, oh, I fancy that project, or I fancy that project, or I don't fancy that one, I can delete it. And I can also add another quick note if I want to. So yeah, that's an overview of the app that I use, why I use it, how I use it, and the different bits of functionality. If you have any questions about it and you think that it's something that you might want to use or um, you want to know how to sync it to your phone or anything like that, just let me know and I can always do another video. Um, I've not used any other apps so I won't be able to compare anything for you unfortunately but um, hopefully this will still help you in some way. Um, even if you don't do it on an app and you use the same method of drawing things out um, on paper you can do that. I used to very much be um, working on paper so I had this card sketches book and I would draw out the card that I wanted to make. So this one I wanted to use up some flowers and I thought that I could um, nestle some flowers behind a sentiment for example. This one I was thinking about using a bauble die um, so I just drew them out but now I just keep this for general card sketches rather than specific projects if that makes sense so I could take this card layout and I could use any stamp set and um, any piece of paper to make this card whereas if when I was planning my husband's um, where is it I think I just closed it dang it uh, okay, take Katie's one. Um, when I'm planning this one, I can write the specific item that I want to use. And uh, the one thing I forgot to say before is I can also create my shopping list then of everything that I need to buy for that project. This is my food shop <laughs> and my meal plan. So it's not crafty related, but just so that you can see how to link the two together. And then I schedule that for when I'm next going out and I make sure that I do my shopping before I sit down to do the project. Otherwise, I'm not going to have everything that I need to do. Need to do it. Sorry. <laughs> my brain went like funny then. So, yeah, um, whether you like to paper plan it or whether you like to have things shouting at you like I do because my memory is terrible. Um, there's a couple of ways there to plan out your craft projects. And... Um, Christina Warner also does on, or used to do, I don't know if it's still there, but a, lot, a while ago she did the card sketchbooks where she already has these boxes drawn out for you so you don't have to draw your square for your card layout every time and you just sketch in the boxes. Um, and that was on her website, which I think is kwarnerdesign.com. Um, pretty sure it is. If not, just look her up on YouTube and... Um, I'm sure it'll be on her profile somewhere but yeah I just thought I'd share that with you I hope it's helpful I hope it explains the process <laughs> it's really hard to um, explain to someone else how your brain works but I hope I got it across clearly and once again thank you for watching bye